Hey guys, welcome back. This week I'm going to show you really quickly the Nokia 5110 LCD displays I use. Hey guys, welcome back. Last week I showed you these OLEDs that I've been using, but I've been neglecting just doing a quick video on the 5110s that I use in almost all of my projects. And today I'm going to give you a quick overview and share some of the easy code I've developed and borrowed from the internet to make this really, really simple for your projects. Guys, I'm going to be honest here. I cheat with these Nokia 5110s and I have so for over two years. Notice I have no shift registers on here. This this is a 3 volt compliant device, not 5 volt like the Nano I'm using. I have never hurt one yet. Never needed to use a shift register and I go even further. Your mileage may vary, but I run the backlight for the LED backlight directly from the Nanos and I have yet to have a problem. I just PWM them. The current is a little up there, but I haven't hurt the Nanos yet either. And I've had many of these displays run seven days a week for months on end and I've never had a problem. So guys, you can run them however you see fit. Feel free to give it a try hooking them up this way. Uh, don't hold me responsible if you do have troubles, but uh, I have yet to. Guys, we'll start here with the really basic Adafruit library, the demo library that Lady Ada was so kind enough to make and put out there for us. This just goes through all the steps on the display, shows you a bunch of different graphics and things you can do. This is right in the examples of the libraries. You're going to see that in the code linked below. And it works really good to get an idea of what you can do with these. But let's go a step further. Let's give this one a try, guys. So what we've got is the same Adafruit splash screen and then one of my own. And this code is really, really basic for you guys, just to see the core structure on how it works with no other confusing stuff in there. I hope it helps someone. This is really just doing an analog read of pin zero. And you'll see how to take that and put it out to the LCD. That's all there is to it. And this is the core building block of getting these displays to show something that you want them to show. Let's go one step further. Okay, guys, let's see what we've got this time. What we've got, same splash screen, little different intro to it. And now we've got a display voltage over time. And again, we're just using analog zero, so I'll just touch it here. And here's the raw values changing. So this code I'll give you as well, where you can set up a graphical display real easy for a basic scope. Same kind of idea I showed in the OLED video, but uh, this is for the 5110 exclusively. You'll see how it fills the screen. Guys, that's about it for these. All you've got to do is decide what color of backlight you want. Set your contrast for your display because they do vary. You'll see that in the code, how to do it. It's really easy. And set your backlight level to suit your environment that you want to view these in. Guys, these are the best displays bar none I've run across. I love them. The viewing angle that they work on, you can see, you can see them at a really acute angle. They just work fantastic. They did a good job on them for cell phones back in the day, and we reap the benefits for our projects now. Guys, if this video helped you, please consider a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching.